the records are now open. Come on in, everybody. Come on in with your sacred hearts, with your sacred minds open. Take your sacred shoes off. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, of course. Ooh. Everything's stabilized here. Welcome. My name is Emily Harrison. I am the founder and director of the Akashic Academy a mentor to other light workers in the realm of the Akashic Records because I believe as a collective, our human potential is untapped. We have not even begun to dive in to how much magic there is for us to know about ourselves, to understand about how our energy works, what we can do, what we can create, what we can heal with that energy. I believe that our potential is greatly untapped, including my own, which is why I use the Akashic Records to help me expand my perspective. The Akashic Records are the realm of consciousness where every detail, past, present, and future, future exists in infinite possibility, remember, has been recorded in a neutral space. Now, a lot of times we think is neutral as, eh, comme si, comme ça, right, whatever. Neutral is not at all whatever. Neutral, true neutrality is unconditional love and zero judgment. So when we learn to see ourselves, to understand the patterns of our life, the nature of who we are from this perspective, when we begin to use this perspective to look at our lives, to look at our business, to look at our health, to look at our relationships, the amount of aha moments becomes just, there's just too damn many to count. Uh, I'm really excited because I've had uh, my own aha moment. I have these aha moments all the time. I got a big one coming up though from this past weekend, guys. I injured my ribs very badly skiing. I was a hot dog and I hurt myself skiing. I've learned a lot of things already, a lot of cool insights, a lot of ways that spirit is bringing my awareness to one, my choices, my behaviors. <laughs> What does she mean by her choices? I mean, I drank a damn shot of fireball on the mountain and I took a jump that I should have taken and I totally crashed. And I'm not usually, I'm not usually a drinker, a boozer. I have no problem. I am non-judgmental about the choices that you guys make. I like to drink a beer every now and then. As you can tell by my story, I drank a fireball shot going up the mountain. Lord, and, and you hear, here's, he, I'll just go ahead and tell on myself before I share this out to a watch party. Let me tell bad stories on myself and then I'm going to share to my friends. <laughs> then I'll share to my friends and family. Like I said, normally I'm not much of a boozer, not much of a drinker. I'm a little lady. The alcohol makes me feel kind of icky the next day. So I don't really love to go crazy all the time, but I'm not a prude either. And uh, one time my husband and I were going up the mountain and he's, he brought a fireball and he gave me a sip. It's like that cinnamon whiskey. And now every time I go up the mountain, I want it, I'm like, did you bring the fireball? Did you bring the fireball? <laughs> so that's, that's what happened. I, uh, the altitude and the fun I was having with my friends and everybody and I started hot dogging and I hurt myself. So I have a pretty substantial rib injury. I don't know if you guys have hurt your ribs, dislocated those puppies, bruised them up before. It is not, it, it, is, it is an intense recovery. It's really bringing my awareness, one, to my physical body because uh, Spirit actually gave this in a message to somebody else through me recently. But the message was your spirit, your physical body is actually receiving a lot more messages during the day than we realize. Most of the time we're getting the messages in our, in our mind. Uh, there's a certain aspect of our thoughts that are drawn to putting the pieces together of the message that we're receiving. Yes, we know that, we're used, that we use our bodies, empaths especially, like when you walk into a room and you feel within your body the, the density or the lightness in a room when you feel somebody else's feelings, this is part of how we're using our body to get messages. But spirit is actually coming through and communicating with us in a lot of different ways that our awareness isn't quite tuned into our physical body as acutely as it's tuned into our thoughts or our emotions. So I'm really learning that right now. I'm also, um, wow, like I'm taking a moment to look at myself and my life and just be like, damn, because you know what? This hurts. 
and I've had a seriously busy week. There has not been one part of me that's been like, yeah, I want to check out. I just want to rest. I don't really want to go to work today. I'm so, I love my job so much. I'm just like, bring on the healing so I can get my work done. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a moment and share this out, but I do wanna let you guys know, we're gonna do a special healing ceremony today. We're gonna call in your I am presence. And I want you to, as I'm sharing out right now, as we're still all coming in, saying hello, which by the way, please say hello once you get here and let us know where you're from because that starts to give us a visual map of how we are spreading and expanding across this planet. But we are going to do a special healing activation because, 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 because whatever's coming up in your life to heal right now is like your once and for all thing. And does that mean that it's going to be, you're not going to ever have anything to heal anymore? No, I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about the biggest thing that is present in your life to heal right now. Mine is my ribs is a collective culmination of all of the karmic lessons that you still have to transmute. So it's super important that we dive deep into the issues that we are healing right now in our lives because this is a big portal that is opening up, okay? We're making a shift in our conscious advancement, in our spiritual awakening. It's almost like a second or third awakening. We start awakening. We start to realize how much is out of balance. We're putting things back in balance, back in sync. We're healing ourselves and our lives and our karma. But people, we are shifting. The energy is taking a turn where once we move back into a state of wholeness and oneness, there ain't the same shit to heal anymore. And then what you got all your spare energy and your time and your focus and your magic for? Creating something amazing and new for this planet. This is the next level of spiritual awakening that we are undergoing right now. So that's why we want to take this moment today to really focus on some healing. Hi, DC. Hi, Carla. Hi, Gloria. Hi, William. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Lakeisha. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Lynn. Hi, everybody coming in. Janine is here. Awesome, Georgia. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, don't forget to let us know where you are once you get here. Lakeisha says, show me how to get my records. Yes, Lakeisha, I do show people how to access their records. The truth is you're already accessing them, and everybody is to a certain degree. But once we begin to bring our awareness and hone our understanding and our skills of what can be accessed uh, and used and shifted and just flat out rewritten in this space is pretty phenomenal. So for those of you guys who are like Lakeisha and you want me to show you how to get into your Akashic Records and extract all of this information, please reach out to me privately because there are opportunities that you can dive in and you can learn. But guys, I got to tell you, this is sacred. This is guarded information. There is a certain level of enlightenment that must have already unfolded in you. And that doesn't mean that you have to have meditated on the mountain and be like a damn monk. But it means you have to come to your own understanding that you have created every experience that you are experiencing in life. You have to own it. You cannot pass off your guilt, your shit to other people. You got to own it. Otherwise, I can't show you how to access and change your life with this information to it's the highest degree possible. So it really requires a readiness. It requires a, an amount of emotional maturity of owning your shit. So if that is you and you want to know more about that, I can definitely show you whew, how to get massive results changing your life by learning how to uh, see yourself from this perspective. Now, I'm going to go ahead and share this out. I'm going to ask you guys to share it out too. We're going to get into... The healing today, I'm really excited because we're going to call in the highest aspects of ourself, the I am presence, lots of different names for this idea of um, accessing your own inner wisdom, your own inner guru, the I am presence. It's really, it's really all just a bunch of different names for the magnificent perfection essence of your soul. And when you come into contact and you create space for knowing that part of yourself, your entire life will change. And that's what I help people. I help people know that part of themselves because it's hard to know yourself that way through your own experience because you're so judgmental about your own experience. I show you what your experience of life 
is what what the the true nature of what's going on because I teach you how to access the Akashic records where this information is stored from a God level perspective. That means unconditional love and zero judgment. All right, start the damn watch party. Let's go. All right. Will you guys start a watch party for me? Let's get this rocking and rolling. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to work on doing a little healing right now. Now, like I said, like I shared earlier, the issues that we're all bringing forward to work on healing right now, this represents a culmination of all of the karmic issues that we are still carrying. So I want you guys to allow yourself to see the important karmic issues that you still have to transmute so that you can get to and maintain your own energy frequency at a neutral space where you're loving yourself and you're loving everybody else around you and you are not creating difficult circumstances for yourself to learn. You are rather holding that frequency of oneness, of balance, of harmony. Because we are about to be tasked with, and we really already are, the ultimate creation, invention, filling up this new expression of humanity as we expand in consciousness, the 5D. We are here to start creating, to show up, to contribute, to manifest. We got to get in this sandbox and start playing. So we got to finish up this healing part of our journey, okay? We got to finish up this healing part of our journey. Okay, ooh, I just clicked here. Carl, I was honestly, Carl triggered me. I was about to, Carl, I was about to, you already asked that before. You asked where Weed Man went. I told you guys where he went. We're sending love and light to all of you. All right. Carl, if he... Uh. Carl, you're actually doing what got Weed Man canned, and that is derailing the conversation. So I'm going to ask you guys, hold space. Stay focused in here, okay? If you want your own show, like Weed Man wants his own show, fucking go live. Pardon my French. Go live on your own channel and start sharing what you got to share. Okay. Pa apologize. For, I don't apologize for getting triggered. You guys want to see me get triggered? This is what it looks like. I am not fully 5D. I still get triggered. <laughs> All right. And I'm triggered today because I'm in pain. And this is what's cool. This is showing me, and again, more of the learning is that I, my tolerance, like I don't have the same tolerance that I have a lot of times in my life. And what I recognize, and this is why I know that this is so significant for me to be able to fully examine and understand all of the symbolic aspects of lessons that I still need to learn and neutralize that are presenting themselves for me in this space. From the physical location to how I did it to the, uh, and here's what, you know, you want to know what happened after that? I was in so much physical pain that emotional pain that I had been storing for many years totally spilled out. I did. I had, I, had a, I had a major meltdown. And I'm like, oh, okay, I got some stuff to I got some stuff to look at here, some stuff to transmute. So I am using myself as a, just a very vulnerable take a look. This is what it looks like. I love spiritual evolution and consciousness and expanding and enlightening myself. And I still do stupid shit where I get hurt. And I'm like, why did I why did I manifest this situation for myself? So if you guys can relate, if you feel very much like an ascended master sometimes and very much like a human sometimes, come on in. We're all in this together. But I definitely feel this shift, this transition from this aspect of healing, all of the areas where we have participated in creating a dis-ease of some kind from lifetimes and lifetimes, to finally getting to hold a state of neutrality <laughs> Maintaining that state of neutrality for more than 24 damn hours. <laughs> and then seeing what we can do with it. All right, so let's use this day together. We're going to do a special healing ceremony. I want you guys to just allow yourself to start by getting soft. And we're going to just gently rock back and forth. Create a little soft movement in your body. Breathing in. Nice and deep. I'm going to hold at the top of my breath. 
it hurts very much right now to expand and breathe deep like that. I feel restriction in my breath. I'm going to push to the point of where I feel it and just pause in there. Good job. Practice moving your body in a different way now. So one thing that's really cool when we do this, because we're going to call in the I am presence, like I said, we're bringing in really, really powerful energies to shift and heal. Movement is very important, and I want you to play with the different ways that you can move your body. This is about the more you own your own process of this ceremony that you're we're creating right here, and you allow yourself to participate in this dance with um, whatever intuitive ideas are coming up for you, the more you're going to get out of this. Now, there are different ways that we can move our body to begin to create uh, different vortexes of energy to support the energy. You can create kind of a magnet-like effect. Um, you guys, I don't know if you've seen Brad Johnson channel before, but when he channels a drone, sometimes he'll go, well, actually, I think most of the time, it might be part of the process that he uses to connect. He goes into kind of like this spiral from the hip area. So whatever movement feels like the right movement to you, really important that you're incorporating some movement into the breath. And we're going to be creating as we go here. Again, like I said, this is really, really important for you to step into once and for all, locking in your ability to heal, to neutralize, to balance anything that you need to balance in your life. Spirit now is inviting us to marry your breath with the movement. So basically what they're showing me, you know how they talk about white people clap on two and four? Or whatever the wrong beat is. They talk about white people clapping on the off beat. Don't be on the off beat. I want you to find the on beat. Find the rhythm where you can marry the breath to the movement of the body. Whatever that means for you. But find a way that the breath can be an extension of the movement of the way that your body is moving. And the movement is an extension of the breath. If you want to use your hands to start ushering in some energy, I can feel the D, the DNA helix energy just becoming very, very strong. So my hands naturally want to follow that spiral energy here. I want you to imagine that giant double spiral DNA helix running up and down the central column, central column of light. So allow yourself to just superimpose through this visual image of the, the central column of light, a double helix, giant strand, double helix DNA. Let's send that connected all the way down into crystalline core center of Mother Earth. Sending that crystalline tube down through the crust of Mother Earth, through her crystalline caves, down through her sacred crystalline waters, lakes, oceans, anchoring deep into the liquid crystalline core. Feel yourself in the womb of Mother Gaia, floating in this pure state of consciousness in exchange with the mother, pulling that energy back up, following the consciousness back up that crystalline tube. As you're moving up through that tube, up through the sacred waters of Mother Earth, that consciousness, your consciousness, is being infused with all of the healing, knowledge, wisdom that we learn from water, the ability to program water, the ability to flow like water, all of that capacity infusing into your consciousness, pulling the consciousness up through that crystalline tube more, up into the crystalline caves. Your consciousness now infusing with all of the knowledge of the crystals, the crystalline realm, not only knowledge and insight, but portal openings, access point, healing properties, 
calling your consciousness up through the crystalline tube, up the crust of Mother Earth, moving up through the root system of Mother Earth. Your consciousness is engaging with and being illuminated with all of the medicinal knowledge and properties of the root systems, all of the wisdom known and explored by our indigenous people of the medicinal qualities of Mother Earth, all of that being infused into your consciousness now, bringing that energy into the back into the physical body, pulling it up the feet, the ankles, the lower legs, the knees, upper legs, into the hips, all the way up the body, into the chest, all the way up into the shoulders, down the upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingertips. Fingers, hands are now activated with the highest, highest access of healing and knowledge available to you. And granted, what's not available to you is only not available because it's not important to you. You have not been denied any important access. Reaching those hands back, ushering that energy over the top of the head, melting it down the front of the face. Breathing, calling all of that Mother Earth energy, knowledge, wisdom, healing, love, support into the physical body. When you bring these elements from Mother Earth into your physical body, into your emotional body, into your light body, into your plasmic body, you are creating an environment that allows for instant enlightenment. allows you to stand in your multidimensional essence. Now let's bring in the activation of the, the knowledge, of the know-how, what to do with all of this beautiful wisdom that's swirling now within your being. Taking that crystalline tube, reaching all the way up through the layers of space and time, moving all the way up through the cosmos, Exiting the, the physical dimensional universe as we know it, and anchoring that crystalline tube of light into the Akash, into the ether, the all that is. Pure white light energy. Remember, light is knowledge. It is, it is information. When we bring this information into the physical expression of who we are, the wisdom intertwines with our experience, bringing it into a conscious form. So calling down the wisdom from the Akash, bringing it down through the layers of space and time, bringing it into your body, allowing it to spiral through every cell inside of your body, intertwining, illuminating your perfect genetic blueprint, Good job giving you access to all of the healing knowledge that you need. Good breathing, allowing your body to be the container for all of this knowledge that we've brought in. Now, moving the awareness up into the soul star chakra. The uh, so imagine the awareness right now in the third eye in the brain, the mind, then allow it to move out the top of the head up into the crown chakra that's about 12 to 18 inches above the head, and just allow your consciousness, your awareness to be here in your crown chakra for one moment, and then moving that awareness up into the soul star chakra that's one layer up. Another 12 to 18 inches up. Nice white light from the soul star chakra. With all of your awareness in the soul star chakra, I want you to call an invocation now in this moment of your I am presence. Calling it in. Integrating with you the you that is your is that consciousness calling in that i am presence notice any sensations going on within the body within the top of the energy field around the head area doesn't necessarily have to be in the head area but just notice 
I'm feeling a lot of interesting, um, like burning right here. Inviting the I am presence. And now with declaration in your intention, speaking a decree, I want you to go inward and just talk out, just go into your internal Southern Baptist minister speaking, preaching it out, whatever the words are that you go into right now to speak your invocation to speak your decree of intent, to heal these issues of your life. Speak it now in the presence of God, in the presence of me and everybody here. Allow yourself to have fun, create, speak it out. But in order to fully remove this, you must agree to see all aspects of how you showed up to create this. So now I want you to quiet, quiet down that Southern Baptist preacher. And I want you to allow yourself to be in a state of humility. We stood in our power. Now I want you to allow yourself to experience a state of complete humility and allow spirit to bring into your awareness a dynamic understanding of why you've created this. Without any judgment towards yourself, allowing that understanding to emerge. Now I want you to ask yourself, can I forgive myself for causing this? Yes, I can. Can I forgive myself of causing this? Yes, I can. Can I forgive myself of causing this? Yes, I can. That's so be it and so it is. Just allow that energy now just to wash over you. I see a lot of colors coming in. A lot of aqua blue coming in, teal greens coming in, beautiful purples coming in. I also hear my kids and my dogs crashing around outside my office while I'm working. God bless a snow day. <laughs> One more nice deep breath in. We're going to exhale now, releasing the meditation. I was going to say, how much time we have left to do, to do some answers? Okay, let's do some rapid fires. It is 1228. I'm going to scroll through here and just see quickly if, uh, see if any questions came in. And we'll go through it. We'll go through a quick answer. Quick answer of a question. Oh, Rebecca said, I feel so warm and at peace. That's awesome. Thank you guys for the love and the energy. All right, I'm gonna, let's look on here. I don't see any good, good questions on my phone. Let me see if I can. Ooh, peacock colors, yes. Got some peacock colors coming in. Um, oh, interesting. Nancy talked about uh, her legs went into, uh, an interesting feeling there inside of the records. Yep, that's, I'm telling you, physically, we are coming online in the, ooh, you want know what they just told me? <laughs> All right, this is crazy. There are not a lot of people left. I mean, there are a good amount of people still left on here, but holy shit, you know what they just told me about that? About this uh, connecting into the, our physical body more dynamically? 
it's going to upgrade our ability to be able to, okay, so when people time travel or when, okay, so going back to Willy Wonka, you remember when they shot him through the big machine, the boy and the chocolate bar, and then it's like, and it's the, pra oh, the TV boy, right? It's the plasma and a breakdown. Blah, blah. This all really has to do with the uh, ability that we can allow our plasmic body to dematerialize and rematerialize okay so this is gonna this all of this physical awareness is having to do with our uh how we how we will learn to materialize and dematerialize our body awesome fun stuff right all right everybody this is this is how the records work it is ex so dramatically fun and exciting and sometimes uh still painful and gut-wrenching um to look at our lives and be like what is going on? And then you see in all of these beautiful breakthroughs, it is a roller coaster of an experience, but so beautiful and so dynamic. So if you guys are ready for that level of healing, I want to invite you, reach out to me. We can open your personal Akashic records and dive into the areas where you need guidance, insight, clarity, healing. What happens in a session is I take you through the process of actually being in the presence of your own Akashic records. And what this does is it allows you to experience your own soul from a perspective of unconditional love and zero judgment. And there is an activation that happens within you, um, an activation of your inner knowing, of the essence of who you are, that the more awareness you put on that, the lighter, the brighter, the more bioluminescent your DNA becomes, and I can start that process for you, get it kick-started for you within the space of the records. So I look forward to connecting with those of you guys who are ready to take that deeper. Please send me a private message if you are interested in hopping on my schedule next week for a private session. Namaste, everybody, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye.